Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Two Hits Reading Conference. This week's episode 178, and we get to talk about James Bond Varger. As always, tell your friends, your family, anyone who wants to listen to Two Idiots Talk About Comics. You can check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can listen to us anywhere you get your podcasts. And as always, let's get into it. <laughs> And welcome to the Best Damn Book Club on the internet. My name's Ryan Talmadge, that's David Crocker, this is Tweetish Reading Comics, and today, talking about James Bond. Woohoo! But not a movie, Davis. Not a movie. A comic book. A comic book. Honestly, I was, couldn't tell if I was more shocked that there was a James Bond comic book, or more shocked that it, there hasn't been a more successful run that we've never heard of. I'm going to go or with that option heard two. Of. Because, I mean, the way comics are, and James Bond's been going on since the yeah. 60s. I mean, I guess I, I don't go deep on James Bond. No. So, did it start off like so many good movies as a book, or? I, I think so. Yeah. Um. James Bond. And it would surprise me that, like... Uh. How would you phrase it? How James Bond started? How did James Bond come about? Was James Bond a book or movie first? Oh, there we go. But you would think, like, I understand that Marvel and DC don't often get into these, like, oh, buying other IP from franchises and doing books like that. But, I mean, you would think it would get something bigger than Dynamite. No offense to Dynamite comics, no. but... Uh, the first film of James Bond series, Dr. No was based on 1958 novel of the same name by Ian Fleming in the movie James Bond played by Sean Connery. Sean said, Connery was the first James yeah, Bond? Yeah, he's the first. I knew, I, ooh, yeah, I knew Sean Connery was first. See, I, I don't go to, I've only seen God, the Daniel. 1958. I've only seen the Daniel Craig ones. But, it's sent to Jamaica to investigate the disappearance of a fellow British agent. So you've only seen the newest ones? Yeah. See, I remember growing and up. I still haven't seen like the one where they all come together. Huh? Yeah, like the most recent one is the one where they all come together. Like a multiverse thing? But I yeah, mean, I guess it's like, not a multiverse because, I mean, it's... I don't even think they got all of them, but... It's like a... It's not a multiverse thing. It's a succession yeah, thing. But, like, there was other 007s that show up. I remember watching Doctor... I don't remember Doctor No. I remember Octopussy. Wait, what? Yes, yeah, there's a movie called Octopussy. I thought that was, like, a long-running joke about... I'm... Well, now you got me... I mean, I, you've watched more James Bond than I have. And and what's bad is I've not watched any of the newest ones. The last ones I saw were, oh, I can see his face. The first two Daniel Craig ones are very good. And I'm pretty sure I seem watched seem to, like, play off of each other, which I thought was just a thing in James Bond. But apparently other people who have watched it is like, no, those are the only two that play directly, like, one after another. Uh, I remember Gold, Goldfinger. That's not. Daniel you only Craig. live twice. These are the just. I'm oh, just going in order. Gotcha. Um, I know the name of on Ma on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Diamonds are forever. Love and let die. Because then that's is that still Sean Connery? Sean no, Connery I think always I, just seemed like he would be like the third one. He's the one that everybody was like, "Oh, that's that rowdy guy." I can't remember. I can't tell if this was a different person or. Yeah, Roger Moore took over. Yeah. Um. So Sean Connery did a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, For your eyes only. Yeah, Octopussy. Oh. Uh, 1983, and that was Roger Moore as well. How many James Bond had there been? A lot. No, I'm talking about the people to play James. Oh. Bond. Uh. Sounds like only three. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Sean Connery came back. Oh, okay. And did another one. And another one. No, that's right. Back to Roger Moore again. And then this random dude that I do not recognize. Uh, Timothy Dalton? No, I don't know who that is. Nope. I don't recognize him. He did two, if not three. Uh, This is the guy I'm thinking of. Uh, Pierce Bronson. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah. He did a couple. Tomorrow Never Dies, Die Another Day, Casino Royale. Casino Royale is Daniel Craig. Okay, then I must have watched Casino Royale then. And then Spectres. And then um, 
Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, and Spectre. Wait. Yeah, Casino Royale was Daniel Craig because it's him yeah, it's playing his first a one. card game for yeah. the most part. So I don't know why I used to watch these. I think because my, my mom always watched movies on the IFC, the independent film channel. Yeah. And they like a James Bond would movie would come on. I'm like, ooh, it's action. It's not just the romantic yeah. 40s or 50s, mm. like 20s movie that comes on. I'm like, oh, okay. And I'd watch them. Yeah. Uh, not also if there was some boobs in yeah. there every occasionally. And yeah. I was young and there's no internet. Um, so it looks like there's may only be four. I thought there was way more. Hmm. You know who they're talking about directing the next James Bond? Directing? Yeah. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh, Christopher Nolan. They said he might get two. That's the rumor I've heard. Damn. Yeah. Right, so apparently there's been seven. Oh, what? Connery. Yeah. David Niven. No idea. George Lazenby. Nope. Roger Moore. Okay. That's the one. Yeah. Uh. That I that I called out after Connery because I didn't mm. rec- see the other two, Timothy Dalton, Pierce Bronson, and Daniel Craig. Yeah. So the two David Neven and George Lesenby. I don't I don't even see where those movies change to them. Mm-hmm. See Thunderballs Connery. You only live twice will be Connery. Honor Majesty Service will be Connery. Oh, there's Jay- George Lesenby did Honor Majesty Service. Then back to Connery. Roger Moore. Why would you go back? I don't know. Sean Connery went back a few times. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Um, cool. But yeah, uh, you know that the the book... I wonder if they're just super... Like, I wonder if they're Star Wars level of... Like, how I say it, strict about their canon, which you wouldn't think they would be. What? You talking about James Bond? Yeah. See, I think every time a new uh, actor becomes yeah. 007, I think it creates a new, like, Universe? like, you can't, like, I don't know. Well, no, because there's the last most recent one they all meet, or a right. handful of them meet up. But the movies don't ever tie back to themselves. Like, other Except than, like, with that, your actor. Like, with that yeah. actor, maybe. But, like, yeah. you didn't go back and do Octopussy with a, a 2000s actor. Not yet. Right. With well, the way everything's going. Yeah. Uh, it's 007. Oh, shit. What's his name? James so, Bond? No, no, no. Apparently, the actor that plays Count Dooku. Oh. Um, Christopher Lee. Yeah. There, there has been stuff that's come out. Uh, Seems too yes, old the to author, the author later admitted that Lee was the inspiration of the James Bond character. Strangely, Christopher Lee went on to play Bond villain Francisco Scar- Scaramanga in *The Man with the Golden Gun*. But Ian Fleming isn't his only famous relative, as he was also a descendant of Emperor Charlemagne. Yeah, so I, I thought. I had seen that Christopher Lee also apparently like growing up like is a knight is is been knighted by the queen or Count king Dooku? at the time. Yeah, he's also dead. He just died, uh, and he was also Count Dooku died. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, sad day. I know. I'm pretty sure he died. I just found a new appreciation for his character. <laughs> hmm. Ah, not gonna lie, I kind of like I like Chris. I like Dooku. Yeah. Uh, is the voice actor from Clone Wars still there though? I don't know. So he's 83, he died at 83 is the time of his death. This has got to be the worst podcast ever. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bad. Uh, Yeah, but no. Um, I figured there would be definitely someone be chomping at the bit. Because, I mean, it's pretty simple formula. You just do all the cliche I, spy stuff. Yeah. Considering James Bond for oh, all shit, I he know. Oh, di- he died back in 2015. Oh, fuck. Um... For all I know, James Bond is the one that wrote the book on how to make a spy movie. I would imagine, and then it's I think uh, a man with a uh, man from Uncle. That was a TV show, but I was in the seventies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, 
to go reading Batman in this month and then going to James Bond, you really get a weird justification. I don't justification. You get a weird idea of like how people see like good guy heroes. Explain. Batman won't kill anybody. Yeah. He'll beat the ever living shit out of you, whatever. Uh huh. James Bond was like, oh, fuck that shit. Doesn't think twice about shooting, killing, ending well, he's it. he's a spy. I, I know, but... And technically, he's the main character, so you assume he's a bad or good guy and you cheer for him. Right. He also assassinates people for a government. Correct. Yeah. So, is it like... It's, just really, like, just Russia, or it's really just British propaganda. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. But it's just it was just funny going from... Batman to James Bond of Batman just holding back, never kills, to James Bond just being, oh, fuck it, I get the job done. Yeah. I'll get this shit done. I don't mm-hmm. care who dies, or I care who dies, but <gasps> as long as it's yeah. them. Um, it It's kind of hard, like, once you read it. I mean, it wasn't, it, it's, it's, it doesn't blow you away. No. Like, we're not going back to read another one. No. It's, if you like standard issue mid-tier spy stuff, yeah. you'll love this. Like Which, those, I mean, I enjoyed it. Oh, it was, yeah, oh, oh, I It was a fun it. read. But it was just like, it hit all the notes a spy story does. Yeah. So, uh, but didn't, like, blow me out of the water with anything uh, new. It was kind of funny that there really wasn't much detective work. No. And I don't know why I, I think spies really do a lot of detective work because usually everything's given to them and yeah. they just go, like, they just go do it. Yeah. Um, But, like, the whole time it's like, all right, go here. Oh, so and so sent you here. Oh, that fucked up. All right, they lied to me. They're the ones. Yeah. I was like, Oh, usually well, you, you went. You got there real quick. We have ninety nine percent of the information. We need you to go confirm yeah. the one percent. And you got then, the one percent in five minutes. And the spy like, oh. story is that oh, it wasn't what we assumed it was. It's actually this. And sometimes it's the people that sent you out there. Which that's ha- that's what happened in um. Uh, the current Mission Impossibles, right? Isn't that kind of what's happened in them? Maybe not the newest ones, but yeah, that was um. Wasn't that one of the movies where he got sent out, but was but the group, whatever group he works for? I mean, Mission Impossible One. They go on the very beginning is them going on a mission, and the guy who, uh, everyone dies except for Tom Cruise, right? And like one lady, but it turns out the guy who was running the mission. And that one lady were trying to turn their back because the Cold War was over and they thought that no one was going to need uh, that branch of the uh, military anymore. Okay. So they're pretty much cleaning the house. Yeah. Is that the first one? That's the first one. Oh, wow. But I it was really like, need, I really need to like go back and the, rewatch them all. It was again. like the head spy was like, I'm screwing y'all over before you could screw me over. Oh, so I'm getting out of here. Um, but then, yeah, like at some point. The American government stops seeing, like, they're like, no, you're not doing what we tell you, so you're our target now. Yeah. But that's, like, number five or six. Yeah. The most recent one. Is that the one? There's one where Hawkeye, the actor Hawkeye's in it. Yeah, he's in a couple. The and more recent ones. I think the first time he's in it, like, their boss gets killed, and then both of them are, yeah, like, being charged with the murder, mm-hmm. and they got to prove that it's not Something them. somewhere like that. The most recent one that just came out this year. Really suffered from it's a part one, part two. Ooh. It suffered from part one syndrome Ooh. very bad. Just because it's like you, it's you like had to do so much setup. Seventy percent just... setup. <laughs> Ouch. Hopefully, the second one does well. Yeah, but uh, Whew. yeah, not a whole terrible much to talk about. No, I mean it, uh, it's like if you like spy stuff, you like this book. Yeah, cybernetic, cybernetic arms, yeah. and limbs, and. Then I didn't understand I why yeah. I didn't understand why he was drugging. Yeah, they didn't connect the, that like at like all. like once like Bond doesn't kill him and like just lets him. Why sit is there. this villain selling drugs and like killing he, people? He gives a reason about family and wealth and like wanting, and it, but then Bond just shoots him. It's like, but also at some point, War's going to get out that your drug is killing people. Right, so people will just stop taking your drug. Yeah, uh, I guess we do need to credit some folks. Oh we, yes, while we're here. Uh, maybe. The name sounded familiar, but I don't think we've read anything. 
I don't know. It's Warren Ellis as a writer, I think. Well, I got to find all of the shits in the it's backwards. Yeah. Uh, James Bond created by Ian Fleming, written by Warren Ellis, illustrated yes. by Jason Masters, colored by Guy Major, lettered by Simon Bowland, Boland, mm-hmm. and collection cover by Jason Masters. And the guy... What have we read of uh, Warren Ellis? Well, the reason why I know that name is there's a... Not that guy. There's another guy named Warren Ellis who used to host uh, a movie YouTube channel Yeah. with another guy. They were all part of Collider Movie YouTube Network. Okay. And they had a show called uh, Heroes that was like right in the... Oh, like that was right on TV, when Marvel right? was on. No. Oh. Um, it was all on YouTube. Oh, the, okay. There but, was a um, show called Heroes. Wasn't yeah. It? Yeah. Um, but it, it was like when Marvel was on a, on the come up. Like, I got you. I remember watching their review of like Avengers: Age of Ultron. Um, and he was a part of that network, and him and his friend started that movie trivia showdown or whatever. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, apparently, he's done some Iron Man. Oh. Uh, Galactus. Thunderbolts, huh. uh, Batman, some X Men. Really? Maybe I should know one. Uh, this one. Batman's knows. Grave. That's weird. Uh, d- uh, he's done some detective comics. Uh, JLA. Uh, he did a Moon Knight. Huh. Apparently, I wonder if that's the Moon Knight we did. No, that's not nah. the Moon Knight we did. We read two recent Moon Knight. I don't know. Evidently, they're. I don't know. But, um, I mean, again, it, it's it's fine. I mean, it's yeah. just, uh, I've already deleted off my page. I was going to go see what the Moon Knight was we did. But either way. Um, if you like spy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> might like this. Yeah. Um, Sorry to end the month like this, folks, but. You see how dark it is out here. Although, yeah. weirdly, it looks a lot brighter on our phone than it actually is. I know. Is. It's very weird. Yeah. I didn't know. I mean, that's, a, I guess, a testament to the iPhone. Yeah. Because it sure as hell ain't that bright just looking around. Not the most recent now, one, but it is a pro. Granted, I remember something back in when, we, when I was in school. We went to this, like, nature camp, like, in the middle of the school year. Uh-huh. Uh, and we did a night. At night, we stayed up, and they took us on a night hike. And they want, and the whole point of it was to oh, talk about yeah. like the rods and cones in your eye, and like how like the it longer adjusts. you stay in the dark, the more you can see in the dark. You yeah. you can't you don't get night vision like you can't see see, but uh-huh. you can keep yourself safe. Yeah. And that like any flash of light hurts the darkness. Yeah. And I'm wondering if the camera filters, and of course anybody that probably knows the settings of an iPhone and understands that shit. I wonder if the f- iPhone, it, like, shades that out where our eyes are too lit. I don't know. I mean, we're literally sitting here with a well, and Yeah, light. we also have the light in our face. Yeah. So, um, and the whole um, right side of your face is just black. Yeah. Maybe your left side is too. Yeah. Um, We did do a draft, or we're doing a draft. We're doing a draft. Um, Draft of books or comics that we want turned into... Live action TV or movies? I think we're doing four each. Yeah. And the fact that One Piece just came out with a live action really hurt Took that my one list. <laughs> All righty. Where's the coin? Where's the coin? Where's the coin? Where's I'll the go coin? Tails. tails always. Flipping and heads. All right. You can go first. Ugh, Go ahead and take that one I know you're going to take. I'm going to go Saga. Yep. That's, yeah, okay. Yeah. Was that the first, was that one of the ones you were waiting, like you put down after you said you only came up with four? No, that was my second one. Okay. That was my, the first one's that was my a, third one down. The first one was a book I literally just got done reading. Oh, what book? Uh, Well, I Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. I guess. Um, it's going to be my fourth pick because I know you're not picking it. Um, uh, if you're doing Saga, then I will go Department of Truth. Damn. Wouldn't make I, a I great had, HBO show. I, I had that on the, I had that on my list. Yeah. 
and I figured you would take it. Uh, and you're saying HBO? Yeah. Oh, do like um. Yeah. Oh, what's it called? They're uh, making a great Watchmen. Edge. Yeah, or. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go with uh. We we talked about earlier. Uh, I don't even know if I did it on camera. Uh, but the TM, TMNT Power Rangers to see to get a new li- like there hasn't been any new live action Power Rangers or. What are you talking about what? They still make new seasons of well yeah of them separately. You know what? you better Google me. They they are both separately both have had live actions. Yes, but together, the TMNT Power Rangers crossover, specifically. I don't know. Are, are you, you calling that a cop out? I think that's a cop. Well, so what do you want me to look up? I know I, we know that both have had live action, but has there ever been a crossover? T. I they're literally my. Oh shit! What? There has been. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, yeah, it's the shell shock. Damn yeah. It. Yeah, it's actually with the original Mighty Morphin crew, too. Good, because there's, damn, 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 there's damn. one I was going to claim a technicality on. If uh, you, uh, oh, no, it wasn't with the Mighty mine. Morphin. It was with the space group. Oh. Either the, way. Damn. There's one I'm going to have to call a technicality on if with. you take some of mine. One that's on my list. Oh, that. That if you uh, take too many of mine, I will have to pull. So I'm glad there was oh, one damn. and that you can't take it. <laughs> All right, well. Mr. I have eight. Well, you took uh, two we both had on the same list. Okay. Uh, So I guess now for my two, uh, uh, Manifest Destiny. Okay, I did not have I, that one. I mean, but that would also make a great HBO. And, and Or you, Amazon. Uh, And that one you definitely could do. The Saga TV show, Manifest Destiny yeah. TV show. Most Part of these of I'm going to say. TV show. Most of these I'm going to say TV show. Yeah. Unless it's like a one-off like story arc. I say that. I was about to say. Unless, I'm sure you got like the a one I'm going story with arc. next. We did read the second one, even though it was kind of a reboot. But I think I'd rather just have the flat-out first one as a movie. Nemesis. Oh yeah, I, I thought about putting that on the list. Now technically, there is a show coming on Netflix, but it's kind of in development hell right now. Well, yeah. I mean every. Things kind of in a development. Well, hell. no, like this was in development hell before all the strikes. Oh, really? Like they've Netflix acquired the rights to this while, like I think I read about it when we read the first volume in year one. Holy shit! Yeah. Um, White Knight for my three. Is that one of yours? No. Oh, there is a Batman live action though. <laughs> but there's not the White Knight version of it. I was I went with story art. I like, can't say Ultimate Spider Man. Actually, I think they're actually uh, there is an Ultimate Spider Man. Not live action. Spider Man. They're all called Spider Man. Well, what was this? Even well, the though second one was Amazing Spider Man. Literally, though, even though the, like well, the each, second one literally was Andrew Garfield's literally was called Amazing Amazing Spider Man. Yes, but literally every Spider Man TV show steals from Ultimate Spider Man because it's one of the best Spider Man runs. You're doing this because Spider Man's on your list, aren't no, you? No, it's not. Oh. But there have been bat- I've got two there's been I've plenty got, of Batman live fine. actions. I've got two others I'm that have never been on live action anything? Well now I'm questioning it. Okay. Well, I mean these two I'm would hope not. I okay. looked up one of them. Uh Census. Okay, yeah, there's I I'd looked that one yeah. up. I know that one. Um uh, that one I could you I, a movie would be funny. Yes. Just with the current slate of stuff that is out. Um, looks like I will not have to take my uh, technicality. I will go Berserker, the Keanu Reeves comic. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally debating between Senses and Berserker. Yeah. <laughs> Fucker. Damn it. Do you need to see my list? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna have to because you because two of mine have been. There's one I'm surprised. Like you love, you actually really liked this one. It was very recent. Well, no. You said you can I see your list? No, it's a draft. I still have one more pick after this. It's very recent. I would have. 
Think of the briefcases. Huh? There's a keeper and a holder and a watcher. Oh, uh, Seven Secrets? Yeah. Do you not want that in live action? Ah, sure. I It wasn't going to be... I, I kept it off because... Cool, because I had the others, but I got shit canned. So. Let's see. I think that would actually work better as a movie trilogy. That one, yeah. Yeah, because you could have... You could definitely set the world, kill everybody off, then have your redemption. Like, have All your right. redemption story. Um, mine is going to be the Bloodsworn trilogy. It's a recent novels, Viking fantasy type stuff. Ooh, what's it called? The, uh, the Bloodsworn trilogy. The first like sworn, one. Sworn, S-W-O-R-N? Yeah, Bloodsworn is all one word. Uh, the first book is called Shadow of the Gods. Oh, um, I have to. Okay, I, that was. I oh, almost, did you actually listen? No, to it? I almost turned it on to come back from Texas. That was. But uh, I was I'd already restarted. Um, that was one of my personal recommendations earlier this year. Yeah, I finally finished it, um, and then I'm was getting really excited to start book two because they say it's even better than book one, and the book two is called uh, "Hunger of the Gods." Okay, because I was um, I, I debated starting that because I got done with the mm. the Star Wars one, and I started. Uh, Name of the Wind again. I've yeah. listened to it for it, but I have a I have a hard time. Like, yes, I've already listened to Name of Wind twice. One well, on my third time listening to it. I really, dude, it, when you like a book, you re-listen to it, which doesn't bode well to some of the Star Wars books I've listened to in the past couple of years. They are not either way. Um, uh, I just have a hard time stopping like in the middle and going and starting something else, and then well, listening yeah, you to don't it. do that. But yes, that one I have it on my Audible yes. list, and supposedly the second book is better than the first. Cool. Um, my one that I was gonna have to pull a technicality was Pokemon, because there has been Detective Pikachu, right? But I want a full oh, oh, on. Nope, nope, no, oh, no, no, no. There's been a live this action is... Pikachu. This is honorable. Look, live, live, live Davis, this Pikachu. is honorable nope, mention. Been a live We've already Pikachu. made our picks, Davis. I, there's a live action Pikachu. There's already been live. So action. I can't complete my sentence. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yes, I, I I agree that there needs to be a true. Yes, a, I a want true Pokemon. A person yeah. going for gym badges yeah. and then it doesn't have to be Ash. I mean, honestly, just no, it doesn't have to pick be anybody. Yeah. Like to make a new character to expand on the universe, yeah. which. I guess they're about to do since Ash is gone or about to be yeah, gone. Yeah, they have some new, two new kids. I don't know who the fuck they are. I've given up they're on going, the anime. They're going with two together? Yeah, there's a chick and a dude. Oh, well, I mean, that's not shocking, but. Yeah. Uh, interesting. But at the same time, I mean, if they had stopped it, <laughs> it, yeah, it would no. be that, like, that you're not, they're not that going to. Yeah. But, like, at the same time, you could have just stopped yeah. with Ash and mm-hmm. just been like, look, we're done no. for a little while. Just, we're going to do the games and cards, and then we'll maybe pick it up in a few years. But Yeah. Um, the, the show's just you got to be. need to let me to, write something. The show's just got to, like, the animated ones just got to be, like, they didn't grow up. Like, it seemed to, like, revert back to younger. I mean, like, they've always, it's always kids. I, I, they don't I, ever go higher than that. I know, but... Whereas I, I, Star I guess, Wars, you can still get some kid stuff, and then you get stuff like Andor. Right. We'll, they will never give us that. True. And it hurts. Which you don't have to get, get all hurts. the way as like, grimy as Andor, but like, I tried to watch one of the, like, I mean, like five years ago, whatever season came out, and it was just like so childish. Yeah. Like, they didn't even try to bring it up to like teenager years. No. Just for the kids that have grown up with Pokemon, no. it's like no. You, you watch Pokemon from when you're like. Trust me, I hang out with five to five to twelve years old. I hang old, out with twenty to all then, the way to like fifty year olds that like Pokemon, and it's weird yeah. that they don't make something specifically for their. I, and and it, it, you would think that is that something that's been around for twenty years that yeah. is as popular as it is. Twenty five. Twenty five years, yeah. Jesus. That as popular as it is, it's like okay, even if you were five. When they were ten years old, yeah. you're twenty now. Yeah. Well, no, you'd be fifteen. Either way, yeah. it's like, come on, like, give us a give little, us give us a little something oh, with a little age. I would love to write, like, not even just a person going for, like, just give me. I I want to write something about like a crime lord in the Pokemon universe. That'd be awesome. Like Team Rocket. 
like yeah, like actually be, making. Them I don't grungy. think they'd let us touch Team Rocket, but no, like, no, no, but. Make but like this grungy, guy who kind of like you think about it, like a terrorist organization taking down a whole city with, with Pokemon is not hard to do. Don't they do that? I mean, a few depending I mean, on what your definition of terrorist organization, Team Aqua, Team Magma, uh, Plasma. I mean, they can all be Flare. Technically, they're all the with the loose definition. I mean, they're yeah. technically all terrorists, For, homegrown terrorists. <laughs> Team Rocket is more Maybe of not. a just a gang crime family, yeah. like a crime organized crime. Uh, I didn't play through Sun and Moon or Black and White, but I would assume, yeah. Uh, the I you... no, I have oh, not Sword played and Shield. You you did Sword Sword and Shield. Yeah, I've done. Cause that's the one I did. I I've done Gens story. one through four. Did not play five. Uh, X and Y I did play through. So that's Gen 6, 7. With Sun and Moon, I was so mad that there wasn't traditional like gym leaders and stuff. So I still haven't played through that. What'd they do? I, I, I bought Sun, or I bought Moon the other day, and I'm eventually going to play through it. But oh, I'm, so you didn't even buy it when it came out. No. Oh. Which I regret, because now I'm trying to get them all. Well, right. Um, But then I did get, when it came to the Switch, I was like, all right, I'm getting Sword and Shield. And then... I still haven't. I'm like only halfway through, uh, whatever the Scarlet and Violet. Those, aren't those like huge though? Like, kind of, yeah. Now, no game still has like, like every Pokemon in it, right? They did Sword that all the way. Off, like, no, I think it was. It was either X and Y or Sun and Moon is where they finally were like, look, there's, there's too, too many. many. We're not like, we can't have a game that and has 2,000 Pokemon. And they finally, re- they finally recognized that problem around Gen 3. I think Ruby and Sapphire is when they finally said, stop saying, got to catch them all. Oh, that's yeah. true. But yeah, I would love, like, it's just quick. How many Pokemon are there total? I think they're over 1,000 now. It is over 1,000. Um, I'll give you within 20. I want to say it's like 130, 1,031. Damn, you can't within 10. It's 1,021. Oh, shit. Okay. I've been playing that Poke Doku, Doku every day. Like, what? Oh, uh, it's, you know how like Wordle comes out with a new puzzle every day? Oh, yeah. You can only do one. There's one called Poke Doku, and it's like a nine square grid, and they have like, oh, you sent me did, the did thing. I sent you the reel of yeah. it. Did you start doing that after I sent it to you? Oh, um, it wasn't the of... first time I'd seen the reel, oh. but it, I did. I was like, I remember that. I want to go play that. And so now I do it like every morning when I wake up. Huh. And I tell you, I've only, I don't think, I usually get seven out of the nine. And then there's like one time I got eight. And with a chance, because you only get nine guesses for nine squares. And Damn. There was only one time I got to the ninth square with one guess left. Wow. Like, there's some hard... There was like, right, so, there's so like four days in a row it, they it's did. A, it's a three by three square. The top top of your square yeah. has water, earth, and fire. Yeah. Down the left side of the square has ground, bug, and steel. Yes, but not only do they do types, they can do it by region. They can do it by... Uh, so, like, it could be... They can like do mythical Valerian, or legendary. Yeah, like they can do whatever it is. It could be like one could be like psychic right here, and somewhere up here it could say Hoenn, which Man. would be ge- you have to know what generation that is, right? And then you have to f- name a Pokemon that is psychic type from that generation. Wow. And then they also do like the different form. Like there's a one that's uh, like I was, the other day they had uh, G Max form, which is like where they turn into giant ones from Sword and Shield. But they don't change their form. There are certain ones that change. Charizard changes. Charizard changes. G- Gengar changes. Gengar changes. Bla- they did all the Blast one starters. Changes? Yeah, they all got one. And Venusaur? Yeah. Oh. Um, I was going through Sword and Shield, and I didn't remember seeing a mm-hmm. Venusaur that changed. Yeah. So, like, in any of the gimmicks they do, they yeah. put that in there. But Yeah, yeah. that's not, I, I watched that, that one day. And it had a percentage, though, underneath on his game, the one I sent you, didn't it? Yeah, there's a... So you could have a better choice than what you choose? So they have a uniqueness score Okay. at the bottom. So the more 
the more uh the more common the answer the higher uniqueness score is and you want a low uniqueness score because that means you picked a low percentage answer that not oh, many so people lower the percentage the better yeah oh, the lowest okay. i've seen it is someone had a 91 so like for fire flying charizard's if you put, the first if one you put comes, charizard says it's 100%. you're going to be at like 75 percent but if you pick like talon flame which would probably be the next one. Didn't even know that was a Pokemon. That's Gen 5. <laughs> Shit. It's like a cool looking fire hawk. Oh, is that the one that almost looks like a... Um... Just type in Talon Flame. Talon... Although Moltres, Moltres is also fire Talon flame. flame. Yeah. Oh, nope. That is not the one I was thinking. Yeah. There's one that's like, almost looks like a, a totem pole. He's green. He looks like, an, it's like an owl. Oh, uh, Zatu. X-A-T-U. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's generation two, but that's flying, flying psychic. Jesus, and I thought my Star Wars knowledge was good. I'm telling you that Poco Dooku, because well, see, I don't like people like, get I, on I, there. They're I don't like know anything other than fly. I, yeah, they I get mean, in there and they're like, "Well, this is what kills me." Is like my knowledge has shifted way more to the trading card game, right? And for that, they consolidate types. So if you see a grass type Pokemon card. That could be grass, bug. Yeah, grass and bug. If you see, oh, oh, because there is no bug type in yeah, the card. No. Oh, if you let's see, like what's a very congested one? Uh, if you see, maybe steel, right? If steel you no, nah, steel is just steel. Steel. Um, if ground? you see, no, that would no. If you see a fighting, it could be ground or fighting or rock type. I thought ground had its own. No, it's all fist, which is fighting type. Holy shit. But in the video games, ground rock, you find, uh, yeah, ground you rock, three. Uh, and fighting. Um, in the card game, if it's psychic, it could be psychic, poison, or no, poison just got changed to dark, but it uh, used to be poison. It could either be fairy, psychic, or ghost. Yeah. Because there's 18, currently 18 types. Yes. Because I asked you that question, and mm. I, and I, now I'm wondering, I'm, I'm, betting that the number I got mm. was from the trading card game. Because eight. Like, remember I said it was like eight. Eight. Uh, still... I can tell you what it... Yeah, they're... They're technically uh, nine, but they only make eight different types of energy. And I bet you that's what Because colorless, which is normal, and flying, doesn't have its own energy. Uh-huh. It can use any type of energy. Because when when we start when you started naming them off yeah. that day, because I remember I, I remember putting that question in and you started naming them off. I'm like, mm-hmm. well, shit, man. I, myself, I got past eight. Because currently, I didn't, I didn't think about it when I asked the. Currently, question. the trading card game only has grass, fire, water, electric, psychic, fighting, dark, steel, which would be eight. But then there's also dragon and colorless that don't have their own energy type. They use the energy types of the other ones. Uh, or colors can use any of them. Right. Um, and then there used to be fairy, but it was causing, like, game balancing issues. Well, because fairy was brought in to no, take out X and dragons, y. right? Yeah, just like to... To balance dragons. Where it sounds like someone's out here with us. There's a dog over there. Okay. I was like, Neighbor's dog's out. Okay. Greyhound. Very pretty. Really? Yeah. I wonder if hey, you can't can see her. Yeah. He's very pretty. Uh, this is a cool little board that I found. Uh, the type chart. I'm sure you've seen it. Oh yeah. If there's uh, a there's one on a great which, resource. I mean, this is just like the. Yeah, yeah. Looks like just like the number of it's like, uh, Pokemon that match. No, it's uh, that looks like a type weakness chart. Let me see. No, it is. Yeah. So yeah, like it's a type weakness. Yeah. Two times. So or, fighting against normal would be two times stronger. Right. Yeah, but then like, but it's there's half, also a quad. It's half of its weakness to flying. I don't see anything other than white, green, and black and red. What does that red say? I can't see. I need fucking half. Of it. Uh, I don't know. Half as potent. But what's one time? Oh, one I would be. It normal. resists. Which means is red resist or red is resist. Um. And then zero is completely ineffective. Mm. Um, and then two X means you're two times weakness, which is like if you were a 
God, what would it be? Um, well, if you're flying against the fighting, the fighting would be twice as weak for flying. Yeah. But I'm talking... I'm thinking quad weakness. Let me rephrase that. Um, there are some situations where a Pokemon is two types that is both that are both weak to one type, and that is Ooh, called so quad. That doubles, yeah, yeah, so that doubles what you're. So that'd yeah. be like a that'd be like a bug fairy fighting a dark Pokemon. Yeah, pretty much. Which is there even a bug fairy? Uh, um, yes, called Cutie Fly. Bug fighting. Bug fighting Heracross. This is Heracross is, this, one is a, this is a fucking game in itself. Heracross this. is one of my favorite Pokemon though. So. Are you just gonna look, oh. name random types? No, I just okay. I just Heracross. Yeah. I, I didn't. Heracross is badass. Dude, he looks like um. What was he? He looks like something from another uh franchise. Heracross. I don't know. It's got to be. Oh, Digi- I know. It's got to be about. Digimon. Digimon Frontier. One of the guy turns into a blue beetle electric type. Digimon. Digimon Frontier. Also, like, the only Digimon I ever watched. And uh, there's a bunch of people. You watched the Frontier one? Yeah, it's very good. It's the one where they yeah, actually turn yeah, into. Yeah, this is. Yeah. It's the big chunky yeah. guy. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. That's of. not what you were thinking? Let oh. me see. Did you type in Digimon Frontier? Yeah. Well, Digimon Frontier Blue Beetle. Yeah. The, 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 the That one, I know. That guy. Oh. He's on Digimon Frontier. Okay. I think the one I clicked on was original Digimon. Yeah. See, I was original Digimon, mm-hmm. and then... See, <laughs> apparently Digimon Frontier amongst Digimon fans is, like, not very popular. Oh, really? But it's the only one I've seen. And so, <laughs> when I go to a card shop of people who also grew up watching Digimon along with Pokemon, and I go in there and say, Digimon Frontier is the GOAT Digimon, <laughs> and it just pisses them all off. <laughs> so, Digimon Frontier is the second iteration, then. Right. Yeah, I don't know. It comes somewhere in there. Cause I did Digimon. Then of course, then there's a Digimon where everybody, like the original group, is old. Yeah. Like like older teenage, mm-hmm. like teenagers. <clears throat> but they have all their original Digimon. Yeah. But they can also fuse and do. I don't know. I remember there was a racing Digimon. That's before, I don't know what that is. Was there? No, 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 no. There was a racing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, that that was kind of wicked. That no, was kind of. Oh, you didn't was, like that one? Because <laughs> it came off Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, where if you're going to put them in a school to learn how to duel, I'm all there. Oh, yeah. And then next thing I know, they're on motorcycles. They're on motorcycles. I was like, this is fucking retarded. Did the retarded. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX go into the motorcycles? No. Or is it separate so. from that? Yeah. Um, no. I was just like, this is so dumb. Like, who would the hell would... It's like, you're going to play a card game while you're doing NASCAR? Pretty much. That's so fucking stupid. Dude, I remember one time you've watched it, and like you get hit, your bike goes out of control. Yeah, so stupid. And then when you finally go out, your tire blows out, and then you just fly off the map. It's yeah. like, did they die? And then, I don't know what it is about stuff turning into motorcycles and kids' games. But Dude, fucking Pokemon's doing on it. On fucking the well, Scarlet Pokemon. and Violet. Yeah. I loved the design of the two legendaries until they put out that is like oh this is what you're gonna ride around yeah like you're gonna get get your legendary at the start of the game near the start of the game and you're gonna ride and this is what you do to get around the map i was like i fucking hate this game yeah (laughs) and they weren't even powerful like you get because you got it so early i haven't gotten uh, well there you can't even you can only use them as a vehicle up until a certain point then you get and then you get to battle with them i haven't even gotten to the point where you can battle what the fuck (laughs) i just like i'm so giving you what so what's the point of creating a Pokemon that's a legendary that then you can't use that then isn't powerful enough to just because wipe the floor with everybody? Because if you use it right away, then like you're gonna be overpowered. Then don't give them. Then, you then would don't think, Davis. don't make the bike a fucking legendary. Yeah, Pokemon. just make it HMs or something. Yeah, <laughs> like you do in all the other games. Just make it a fucking bike. Yeah, yeah. Give them a four wheeler at this point. Like, I mean, technically, ever since I forgot what generation Rotom was, it might have been X and Y. Technically, ever since then, our phones have been Pokemon, too. Huh? Yeah, Rotom phone. Rotom is an electric Pokemon that takes over electrical devices. Rotom? Yeah, Rotom. T-A-N or T-O-N? R-O-T-O-M. Oh, isn't he a legendary? No. No? No. And then he he has different forms where he can be different types. <gasps> Oh, he or, was the Pokedex in the show. Yeah. 
And he was a Pokemon. Your Pokedex is your po- for your phone now. Yeah. He took over your phone. Wow. Then they gave him different forms so he could be electric yeah, he, slash whatever heat, type. Heat. He's like wash. an oven. A washing machine. Yeah, heat. He looks. He's an oven. Wash. He's a washing machine. Frost. He's a freezer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah is. A fan. Yeah, a fan. <laughs> There's one where he's a can, can you lawnmower. Name the last one? Yeah, he's yeah. a fucking lawnmower. Yeah. Why would you like? And then you you turn him to that in the game and play and he fights. I don't, I've never I played that generation, so I think Jesus. I forgot what generation that was. And I thought that was dumb, so I didn't catch one. <laughs> if I did, yeah, he's an electric. So everything he's electric. Mm-hmm. Electric ghost, fire, water, ice, flying, and grass. Now he does. Usually have some pretty interesting cards, though. Wow, dude! Po- when when I realized Pokemon, when I watched one and he, it was literally a whipped cream, like an ice cream cone. Oh, oh, uh, vanilla. Yeah, whatever. I was like, okay, y'all have ran out. Yeah. And then it was a candelabra, or mm. a, a chandelier. Chandelure. Yeah, yeah, I was like, that's a ghost have- type, though. That's kind of. Uh, it's fine, but it's like y'all are really running out of shit. To- there's usually only like two or three each generation yeah. now that I like. Well, and then they're then they're like, okay, we've run out of so many. We're now gonna make Pokemon different. Like when they went to and now I've, was it Hoenn where they started no, making uh, like Sandshrew became a fr- fro- Alolan. Uh, ice Alolan. Yeah. When they went to Alolan, I was like, y'all are Lola. <laughs> y'all live. When uh Vulpix became a damn ice type. And I actually like I've sort of came around on that because there there are. Our snakes are different from other people's snakes and I, stuff like that. I get it, but change them up a little bit more and just yeah. make them blue I more, or lighter. I more wish that they just get rid of the gimmicks, to be honest. Yeah. But that's enough. I mean, I think we talked more about Pokemon than we did James Bond on this episode. Oh, most definitely. Uh, we need something uh, to fill the time. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you all next week. Check Instagram and Facebook. You'll find out what we're and reading. And Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I need to post what we're reading for this one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you all next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.